The Auto Format feature contains a gallery of predefined formats that you can apply to a range of cells in a single click. Like I'm looking at this data range here, and if I want to be able to offset the column labels with some fill color, different type of font, as well as the row labels and maybe a number format for the numbers here, well, you can see what's available in the Auto Format gallery by coming up here on the Quick Access Toolbar and right click on it because we need to customize the quick access toolbar to add the command the auto format command to it click on it and we'll change it from popular commands to all commands and we'll scroll down to the a's and there it is auto format double click on it to add it over to the right hand side click okie dokie so it adds it to the quick access toolbar and then with our mini database selected click on it hey look at that oh that's cool well, you got something simple, but then that's not me. I'm an artiste, so I got to choose something else that's more flavorful. In any case, you can go ahead and scroll down and look at all the different ones. And like I said, after you choose one and click OK, you can tweak it. You can change the formatting there. And in fact, you do have some options. So let me click and drag the title bar up. So before you get too far for any major tweakage, after you click OK, you can do a little bit of preemptive attack here on the number. If you don't want the number format like the currency here for accounting one and three, well, all of the accountings, just go ahead and uncheck it. It removes the dollar symbol, the accounting symbol. Well, the dollar symbol is also currency, but as you recall, when it's in accounting mode, it puts the dollar symbol all the way over to the left-hand side of the cell. In any case, it's your flavor. Choose what you like here or not like when you're done. Well, let me go ahead and choose one here. I'm going to scroll down to find something that I find. Oh, I'll do this one, Classic 2. Select it. Go ahead and click Okie Dokie and click off. Oh, that's nice. And like I said, if you don't like it, at least entirely, and you like certain elements, well, you can go ahead and change the formatting. Like, if that's a bit too anorexic, the labels here, I can come up here on the Home tab to the Font Group, make it bold, even change the fill color. Okay, it's got to be a little bit darker to offset that white text. And Okay, not too bad. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.